Manifest Your Desires, A Beginner's Guide to the Power of Positive Thinking, is often mistakenly attributed to Neville Goddard, a widely known lecturer and author on the subject of the law of attraction and the power of imagination. However, there is no record of a Neville Goddard book by the specific title, Manifest Your Desires, A Beginner's Guide to the Power of Positive Thinking, and Neville Goddard did not have a son by the name Abdullah. It's essential to clarify that Neville Goddard's teachings did revolve around the power of the imagination and the belief that individuals can manifest their desires by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. His works were based on a blend of mystical Christianity, metaphysical philosophy, and practical psychological insights. Since the book in question does not exist, I will provide you with a summary based on Neville's actual principles and philosophies which might normally constitute the content of such a book. Neville Goddard's philosophy revolves around the fundamental idea that our imagination creates our reality. He believed that everything we experience in the physical world first originates as a thought or image in our mind. According to him, by consciously directing our imagination towards a desired end, we have the power to manifest that outcome in the physical world. One of the first steps in Neville's method is to have a clear and specific desire. You must know exactly what you want to manifest in your life, whether it's a particular job, a relationship, or a personal achievement. Clarity is essential because vague desires lead to vague outcomes. Once the desire is identified, the next step is to embody the state of already having achieved that desire, a process he termed living in the end. To manifest your desires, Neville suggests practicing what he called the art of revision. At the end of each day, review any events that did not go as desired and mentally revise them to unfold in a manner that aligns with your goals. Replay the scenes in your imagination until they feel real and satisfying. This psychological technique is intended to reprogram your subconscious and impact the future unfolding of events to be more in line with your desires. Another core aspect of Goddard's teachings is the use of affirmations and mental visualizations. You should construct a scene in your imagination that implies the fulfillment of your desire. This scene needs to be as detailed and vivid as possible, engaging all the senses. While visualizing, mental repetition of affirmations or short phrases that reinforce the belief that your desire is already fulfilled can embed the desired state into your consciousness. Feeling is the secret, according to Goddard. It is not enough to simply think about the end result. You must also emotionally connect with the state of the wish fulfilled. The emotional response associated with having achieved your desire acts as a magnet, drawing that possibility into your reality. Emotions fuel the engine of manifestation. To aid in this process, Goddard encouraged the practice of entering a state akin to sleep, sex which involves relaxing the body and mind to enter a state of heightened suggestibility, similar to the state between wakefulness and sleep. In this state, your subconscious is more open to accepting the impressions from your conscious visualizations and feelings. Goddard also emphasized the importance of persistence. In manifesting your desires, you may not see immediate results, but it is crucial to remain faithful to your vision and continue to inhabit the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Doubt and skepticism can undermine the process, as they are also thoughts and feelings that can manifest. Another significant concept in Neville's teachings is that of self-identification. He believed you had to assume the identity of the person who has already achieved the desire. For instance, if your goal is to be a successful writer, you must think, feel, and act as a successful writer would. This identity shift brings about a transformation in both your behavior and your reality. Additionally, Neville Goddard outlined the law of assumption, a principle stating that an assumption, though it may be false if persisted in, will harden into fact. This is the bedrock of his teachings. If you assume the state of your wish as already fulfilled and steadfastly abide in that state, it will eventually manifest in your life. True to his mystical Christian roots, Goddard often made references to scripture, interpreting biblical stories as psychological dramas that unfold within the individual rather than historical events. 
He urged his followers to understand and apply the psychological insights embedded in these stories, believing that doing so would empower them to transform their lives. Surrender is another important topic. Neville taught that in order for your desires to manifest, you must surrender the how and the when to the subconscious mind. By relinquishing control over the process, you allow the subconscious to bring forth your desires in a way that may not align with your conscious expectations, but will always be perfect in the grand scheme of your life's journey. Goddard's message was one of empowerment. He believed every person is the creator of their own reality and holds the key to unlocking their full potential. By applying these principles, everyone has the ability to transform their life and manifest their deepest desires. To recapitulate Neville's teachings in the supposed Manifest Your Desires, A Beginner's Guide to the Power of Positive Thinking would involve having a clear, specific desire, embodying the feeling of the wish fulfilled, or living in the end, practicing the art of revision for events that do not align with your desires, using affirmations and vivid mental visualizations, engaging with the emotional feeling that accompanies the fulfillment of your desires, entering the state akin to sleep for enhanced suggestibility, being persistent and faithful to your vision, self-identification with your desired state of being, understanding and utilizing the law of assumption, interpreting biblical stories as psychological metaphors, surrendering the how and when of manifestation to the subconscious, empowering oneself through the understanding that you have the power to manifest reality through imagination. In summary, Neville Goddard's philosophy carved a pathway for people to understand and harness the psychological power of the subconscious mind through imagination, emotion, and belief to manifest their deepest desires. By adhering to these principles, individuals could potentially shape their reality into one that fulfills their personal aspirations and dreams. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.